Hi, I'm Brad Cox, BradCoxWorkshops.com. I have a question today from the photographer saying we use a lot of large umbrellas and it's a little shiny on the forehead. Any tips on softening it? Also, we get a lot of mixed couples, like where the woman is dark skin, the man is white. Any ideas for lighting? Okay, so good lighting questions. And again, this goes back to the truth is like all advanced techniques are really advanced application of basics. So we always go back to basics, fundamentals, doing the fundamentals over and over and over, building those reps, making things normal. So we'll get into that for one second, but first remember I've got, well, a three hour course on just lighting, things that answer this very question in far more depth at my website, Brycox Workshops, B-R-Y-C-O-X workshops.com, as well as some free videos that I emailed that I'm gonna talk about right now, I'll give you some little tips. But the first thing is, at least in terms of mixed couples, light doesn't know colors, and it shouldn't. And if you're shooting your camera in any kind of an auto mode or a TTL mode or something like that, what's gonna happen is your camera is biased. It's gonna look at various colors and it's gonna to try to even things out. Hey, I see dark over here, I see light over here. It's gonna to try to lighten and darken and try to even all that out and make it gray. That's not good. We want people to look the way they look. So the first thing we wanna do is meter our lighting. So in this case, this photographer is using an umbrella. Great, uh, meter it, pop. Look at that, great, that's our setting. And I've got a full course on using this little device here. Uh, it's an Expo disc, little cheap little thing. Back in the day, it was a little over like 150 bucks. Now they're like down to like 50-ish or something. Uh, my friends at Arlington Camera sell these. I'll put a link there. But you get one of these and then put that over your lens. Go to where your couple is, shoot at your light, do a custom white balance, and at the same time, check your histogram. That should be a dead center spike. And I have a full video on this uh, if you join my email list. And if you join my email list, you get that whole video. Okay, so now you're doing all of that. Now you've got perfect color, perfect exposure. And now in terms of shine on the forehead, I'm actually using right now an umbrella to light this video. Why an umbrella? Well, because I'm using a hot light and it's just a nice way to just kind of soften that, that hot light because I'm in a studio shooting video lights today. In this case, I'm using an umbrella up here. And you notice I don't really have a hot forehead because I am softening it. And so a lot of it has to do with how you're aiming it. If you're aiming the hot spot at people as opposed to feathering it off the side. So aim that hot spot off the side, feather that light across their faces. It should soften it quite a bit. And well, you also sometimes get a hot spot on people's foreheads depending on say humidity. If they're sweating, they kind of get that kind of a, a greasy look on their forehead. Some of that you just have to <laughs> retouch. There's not a lot you can do about some of those kinds of things. But you can, of course, soften it a lot by your light. And one last thing about umbrellas, one way to really get like a super soft light is to use a white umbrella, not a silver, but something that's white and translucent. And I will try both bouncing off of it or shooting through it. One of those two gives you a really, depends on the environment and everything, but will help give that a really soft, look. So, okay, hope that helps. Keep in mind, again, it's metering, custom white balance, custom exposure. I like the little Expo Disc for speed, and that comes in a free video on my email list if you haven't already seen that before. And then, of course, lighting, fast, <laughs> condensed version, feather the light, aim the hot spot to the side, and use a softer umbrella. That's kind of my guess. Maybe you're using a, a sharper umbrella. I've got... I don't even know how many umbrellas. <laughs> Tons, because they're easy to pop up, easy to pop down, and you can just create a lot of variety, especially with umbrellas, especially on the road, on location. Uh, if you want a lot more detail, though, on my lighting, check out my full three-hour course, as well as other courses, all at my uh, website, Brycox Workshops, B-R-Y-C-O-X, workshops.com. All right, until next time, America.